So welcome to a new series. In this series, we're going to be looking at creating mobile applications for uh, Android and iOS. Those are the two most popular uh, mobile platforms out there at the moment. And to do, the way we're going to do this is by using uh, a framework called Ratchet and also uh, a PhoneGap. And if you aren't aware of PhoneGap is, it's basically a framework that allows you to um, develop apps using your standard HTML, JavaScript, CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the PhoneGap site. Uh, this is PhoneGap right here. The way this works is you'd usually have to download lots of programs and set it up with Eclipse for Android and if you're on a Mac you've got to set it up with Xcode and do a load of stuff like that. But what we can also use is something called build.phonegap. So just go to build.phonegap.com and this is it right here. So if you're not logged in you won't be presented with the screen but basically what this does is it allows you to package up your apps that are ready for the app store or ready for google play uh, in the cloud which basically means there's no software to install on your site all you need is like a text editor and the ability to zip up a f some files and that's about it so you literally upload all your files onto here and that creates that sort of packages it up into an app into like an apk file or a uh, I can't remember what the ios file name is but it will package it up so that you can literally run it straight from your device and the nice thing about it is you can just run it by using like a QR code that it will give you just download it and you can run it like that so it's really nice so I generally prefer this to downloading all the software and setting it up and then getting about a hundred errors along the way so if we look at the actual design framework so this is the CSS JavaScript HTML framework and this is going to give us all the design stuff so if we just go into getting started and that just tells you how to get started. What you'll notice is this is very similar to Bootstrap. And I believe, I, I don't know what um, the connection is between Ratchet and Bootstrap, but they are in some way linked together. I, I, don't, I don't really know how, but yeah. So in the components, you can see this actually being in use. So you've got the iPhone along the side here, but as you can scroll down, you can change from an iOS device and Android. So you can just switch, for, uh, switch between them. I am personally an Android user, so most of this is going to be on Android. Um, but one thing I do notice is that this framework doesn't work so nicely for Android. I don't know why, it just doesn't look great. But on iOS it looks quite nice, so uh, we're, we're still going to stick with it, but just bear that in mind. So as we scroll down here, we're getting all the different options. Uh, so very much like Bootstrap in terms of you've got all these elements and you can just use them as their classes. So very similar there. And as we scroll down, we've got all the different sort of elements there. And we'll keep going. Your buttons, your forms, everything is in here. Uh, I've also got things like modals. So that's quite nice. Again, similar to Bootstrap, except in this case, slides up just like an iOS one would. And also we've got sliding things. Which is a bit difficult on a mouse. But obviously on a mobile, this would all work quite nicely. And push is the, basically the way of uh, using links, and that sort of slides between pages. And then we go on Android, and it does the same thing. So we're going to be looking at how to build apps using this and PhoneGap, and that's going to build native, completely native apps onto your device. So the first thing you want to do is down, go to the home page of Ratchet, and then just hit download. And there's the download, just in the zip folder, just like Bootstrap again, and open that up. And this gives you a load of stuff. What we're interested in here is the dist, the distribution, and that is what we need. So I'm going to just extract this, and this is the only one we need, we don't need this other one, so I'll just close that. And then here, we're going to open up the dist, and that's what we need. I'm not actually going to touch any of this at the moment, we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is sign up for phone gap build. So I already have an account, but you can just register here. Um, they have three options here. So for free, you can get one private app, so only you can edit, only you can see, and unlimited open source apps that are on GitHub. Um, I'm not going to go too far into GitHub in this tutorial, in this series, but maybe in the future. So you can get that completely free, which is what I assume most of you will use. Or for $9.99 a month, you can get 25 free apps, and also unlimited open source apps. Or, if you're like me, and you have... Uh, the Adobe Creative Suite, so the whole Adobe Suite, which includes PhoneGap, you can also use that as well, and you sort of get it free with that subscription. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign in. And I sign in with GitHub, it's just the easiest. And then when you're in, you'll be presented with a page like this, so no matter how you signed up. And if you want to pair this with your Adobe Creative Suite account, what you can do is come up to here, edit account, and what you'll have here is your linked Adobe ID. So you, there should be a button here to like link it and you'll just log in with Adobe and that will upgrade your account. So right now I'm logged in and it's all paired up so I can manage that here if I wanted to. Alright, so that's about it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.